Microsoft Word 2.10 and Pictures. How to take a screenshot of a complete application window. I can open up a few application programs. I'll open up Paint program and I'll open up uh, Excel. I'll also open up Word. Now within Word I can insert a screenshot of either of these application windows, either Excel or, or the Paint program. First of all, I just simply decide where I'm going to insert the picture. So I click where I want the picture inserted, or the screenshot inserted. Then within Word, I click on the Insert button, or the Insert tab. Click on Screenshot. And as you can see, that will show me both of the windows that are active and open. So this one here is the Paint program, and this one here is the Excel program. So if I click here, what I get is, is a screenshot within Word of the Paint program. If I just click outside that to uh, deselect it, and if I want to insert the other screenshot, I can go to Insert, Screenshot. That's the Paint program. This one here is the Excel window. Click on that, and sure enough, in goes the screenshot of the Excel program. So that's the easy way of inserting uh, screenshots from other applications. Word 2.10 and clipping screenshots. If I bring up the Paint program, just an example application, and if I bring up Word 2.10, within Word 2.10, I can click on the Insert tab here, I can click on the Screenshot icon here, and if I go down, I can go to where it says Screen Clipping. That takes me back to the open application window, in this case the Paint program, and as you can see, it's all greyed out. So what I can do is I can click hold the mouse button down and drag across. So let's say I just want this particular area here to be turned into a, a screenshot. And I release the mouse button. I automatically go back to Word and as you can see the selected area has been inserted into the application. If I click on that and press delete just to uh, remove it and we'll try, another, try it again. Um, let's say this time I want to take a screenshot of this area here, just the tools within uh, the paint program. So within Word, I go on Insert, Screenshot, Screen Clipping. And if I just want the Tools area here, I just simply press down the mouse button, keep it held down, and drag across until I've got the correct area selected. And when I release the mouse button, they're automatically taken back to Word, and the area I dragged across is inserted as a screen clipping. If we try it one more time, this time we'll select the entire um, uh, toolbar up here. So I go insert, screenshot, screen clipping, and when it fades out, I'll press here, hold the mouse button down and keep it held down. I'll drag across this entire area up here. When I let go, as you can see, I've got a screenshot of the entire paint toolbar displayed within Word's picture. Screenshots using the keyboard Basically, with all versions of Microsoft Word, if you just simply press um, the uh, print screen key, that will take a screenshot of the entire um, active background, uh, desktop and all. Uh, if, on the other hand, you have an active window selected, if you press Alt print screen, that will just simply select the window, the active window, and uh, take that into the, uh, the clipboard. Uh, once items are in the clipboard, Control V is a shortcut for pasting from the clipboard. So as I say, um, Alt Print Screen, that will copy the active window into the clipboard, whereas Print Screen on its own will copy the entire uh, contents of the desktop or whatever happens to be displayed to the clipboard. Once an item's on the clipboard, then uh, Control V will paste it into an application at the um, location of the cursor within the application. Right, picture tools within Word 2.10. Here we've got a Word 2.10 window and we've just simply inserted the picture into this. If we double click on the picture, keep your eye on the, the ribbon at the top here, automatically it changes to show you all the relevant tools. So as you can see, we've got an area here that's called Adjust, so you've got things like removing background, corrections, colour, artistic effects and various other things like compressing pictures, changing the picture, um, resetting the picture. Over here we've got various styles and here we have things like picture border, picture effects and layout. Over here we've got various arrange controls 
and finally we've got the size controls so as you can see simply by double clicking on a picture these are all displayed automatically if I click outside the picture it goes back to normal double click on the picture and the relevant controls, controls are displayed so let's say I just quickly wanted to apply one of these so let's say I decided that was a nice effect as you can see all I have to do is move the mouse pointer over here and you get a preview and if I want to confirm that I just click and as you can see we've now changed it to a much more interesting effect if I don't like that I can undo that and um, let's say we wanted another effect like this one here I just simply click on it away you go and it's applied so very easy to use removing a background from a picture in this case we've got a picture here and there's a background that we don't particularly want so if we double click on the picture as normal this brings up the relevant uh, toolbars at the top here now if we click on where it says remove background by default it's selected this area here so if we just simply move this by dragging and dropping in the usual way what we can do is basically say this is the area that we want to keep and it will try and remove the background based on that area so if we click on where it says keep changes it's not a perfect job but as you can see it's basically removed the background for us Let's see that again that's the original picture double click on it remove background drag and drop in the usual way to select the area you want to keep and try and uh, exclude as much as possible that you don't want and then when you've got an area that you want you just click on keep changes and there you are it's removed the background for you picture corrections and word 210 here we have a, a, a photograph we double click on this we can use the corrections options here to make changes. So if we move along here slowly, slowly, one by one, you, you can see we've got changes. So if I move away from this, that's what the original was like. If I click here, you can see the changes. So we've changed the brightness and the contrast. And as you can see, we can get quite nice artistic effects. Simply by moving the mouse over these various options, options here. If I want a darker effect there, or if I want a lighter effect here, if I click here, there we are, we've applied the effect, effect to the picture. So that's the uh, corrected picture. If we go back here, that's the original picture. So as I say, select it, go to corrections. You can change the, um, the softness and sharpness of the picture here. So as you can see there, it's a little bit blurred. Over here, it's much sharper. So we can make the picture sharper or if we want we can pay, make the picture more blurred go back here and we can change the brightness and contrast so if we want a, an artistic effect like that we click on that and away you go now as I say you can always use the the back button here to go back to the original versions and there we are that's the original picture again so if you go from that to that in just one or two clicks of the buttons Picture colour and Word 210. Here we have a picture that we've inserted into the, uh, the document. If we double click on that, we can change the colour effects by simply clicking on this icon here. And we just move the mouse over these effects here. And as you can see in the background there, you see the effect. If we make this slightly bigger so we can see it more easily, let's try that again. So we click on colour here and you can go to black and white there or as you go along here it's more and more saturation we can adjust the tone so if you move along here slowly you notice the tone changes so if you go from that to say that over here we can have various other options we can use the recoloring option so we can go here or if you want a sort of washed out color or a red washed out color as you see, very easy to get effects. So if we want uh, a green washed out effect here, looks like that. If we go back to the original, look like that. So to edit them, to change the color, just click on the color button up here. 
select the effect you want maybe change the color saturation so we'll go for a a very pastel shade there click on that and there you are you've applied, you've applied the effect so that's what it looks like now that was the original very very easy to apply picture artistic effects in word 210 here we have a picture inserted into the document if we double click on that and click on what it says artistic effects if we move along here that was the original version if we move along here you can see all sorts of interesting effects So if we decide you want that effect there, we just simply click on it, and away you go, sorted. Click on the undo button, see the original again, that was the original, that was with the effect applied. If we go back to the original, decide we want a slight, slightly different effect, we can go to artistic effects, maybe we want a blurred option, maybe we want this sort of squiggly uh, glass option, click on that to apply it, and away you go. So that's with the effect applied. That's back to the original, or back to the effect applied again. And as I say, just to change the artistic effect, you just simply double click on them, go up here and select another one. So if you want a sort of light screen mosaic type effect, there you go. Compressing pictures in a Word 210 document. Here we just simply have a document with four pictures uh, applied to it. If we double click on one of these, as normal this brings up the uh, the ribbon at the top here and uh, you'll notice up here in the adjust section we've got uh, an item called compressed pictures but click on this we can apply um, only to this picture in this case we have lots of pictures so or if we take that off any changes we make will apply to all the pictures so in this case we'll apply just to the selected picture which is this first picture and the target output you can have uh, print which is um, 220 um, or you can have screen which is 150 or you can have email which is uh, uh, 96 these are uh, dots per inch so if you wanted to get maximum compression you would select the email version here and click on OK now you may not notice much difference in this particular case because you'll generally find a lot of the pictures you're going to use in the Word document have already been compressed but if we try it for the second one here let's just have a look anyway we'll double click on this go to where it says compress picture and again we'll use the uh, email um, compression which is uh, compressing it down to 96 dots per inch click on OK and it will technically make the picture smaller or make the uh, combined file size smaller but uh, to be honest you may not see much difference in the actual picture as displayed in the, uh, on the screen um, it's when you print that you generally find uh, you get the difference that's showing up here so we'll try it on this last one here we'll go to compress picture uh, in this case we'll set this one for print which is 220 dots per inch, we'll click on OK and away you go. Uh, if we click on this third one here, if we go to compress picture, do bear in mind you can take this off so you apply it to all the pictures in the document. So in this case we'll go to 96 dots, dots per inch, click on OK and that has now been applied to all the pictures in this particular document. So the reason you do this basically is if you had a very large uh, number of pictures and you're in a particular document and the document was getting very large, you might want to try compressing the size of the pictures because this will reduce the overall file size of uh, your Word document. Resetting pictures in Word 210. Here we have a picture that's basically been uh, modified within uh, Word. If we double click on that, you'll notice that we've got the various options here for things like corrections and color and artistic effects and what have you. We've got compressed picture, we've got change picture, and we've also got this option here that says reset picture. So if we click on this, there we are, back to the original picture. So you notice that in a lot of cases, Word actually maintains the original version, if you like, of the picture buried within it. So if we go back, that's how we started off when we opened this particular uh, document. If we uh, go to Reset Picture, as you can see, it comes back with the original background and uh, um, you know, exactly as it was originally. Picture borders in Word 210. Here we have a picture inserted into a document. If we double click on this, within the uh, 
picture style section, you've got picture borders. If you click on the down arrow here, we've got various things we can apply. So for instance, we can apply, um, say, a red border. If we click on that again, we can uh, apply a different weight so you can actually see it. So if I apply, um, say, a six point border, you can see that. And if we apply a red color to that. And if we wanted to, we could apply maybe dashes to it, like so. So as you've seen, you've got quite dramatic effects you can apply, apply to the border. If we just repeat that again, so we'll just undo some of those. So that's the original picture. Double click on it and you get access to the styles here. So basically you can change the, uh, the weight here. So we'll set it to a, a three point border. Go up here again, change the color. So we'll go for say purple. Go up here again and maybe change it to um, dots like so. And there you go, there's your border changed. Very, very simple to do. Cropping a picture. We bring up uh, a picture like this and double click on it in Word. We simply go over here to the uh, size section or the size group, click on the crop uh, icon here. And you notice we have these cropping tools here. So let's say I want to get rid of the left hand part of the picture. I just carefully go over here to select the uh, crop uh, handle, drag across, and when I let go, and then click outside, the picture's being cropped. If I undo that, so go back to where it was originally, let's say I want to get rid of the bottom part of the picture, I go down to the crop tool here, drag up, click outside, and there's the picture cropped.